Hey, good morning everyone. I'm just heading over to my friend Donald's studio. Today we're going to be doing something very unique and specific to fine artists or painters. And uh, yeah, I'm sure you're aware of that as you've seen the title. But um, yeah, we'll jump over there and uh, I'll explain what it is we're going to be up to today. We're back uh, down in my friend Donald's studio. Oh yeah. And today we're gonna basically mix up some oil paint. We're gonna do some like proprietary fine artist preparation. So we're basically gonna take some raw pigment, which is rocks, minerals, I'm not 100% sure, but basically colored things. Rock, uh, minerals and so uh, so on. So some of them will be chemical. I think some of it will be earth. Okay. And I don't think I have any minerals here. Well, maybe the titanium is in there. I honestly don't know. Well, anyway, I'm gonna take these, uh, we're gonna take these pigments and grind them up with um, oil. We're gonna use linseed oil or what was the other one called? Another kind of oil. <laughs> Something oil that's a secret, <laughs> secret oil. Um, <laughs> And we're, we're, do <laughs> we're doing some experiments with it basically to see um, how, how, how the oil reacts with, um, with the way Donald paints. Yeah, um, and it's, it's also, it's, um, when we say react, when we say react, what we mean is that these oils uh, have a different effect on what the paint will actually look like. And that's also about the surface how the surface of the painting will emerge because depending on the kind of things you mix it with the surface will look different it can even it can it can become like a mirror if we do it well <laughs> beautifully summed up so we're going to jump in and uh, i'll let you know what's going on as we're um as we're doing it and explain uh yeah what it is we're doing okay Okay, so we've been mixing up the paint. So you start out with this kind of um, uh, powder you can see just in the bottom of the bag here. And it's, um, what, what type have we got here, man? Is it ultramarine? Ultramarine, yeah. Yeah, ultramarine pigment powder. And then you first roughly mix it in with um, the palette knife over here or the, the spatula or whatever implement you want. <laughs> and then Donald's just putting a rough mix in it now to kind of um, get the particles spread out as evenly as possible. And is it starting to get a little bit runnier as well as you're doing it? Yeah, yeah. It well, is. that's as the pigment's spreading, you know, the, the, the clumps are going smaller and smaller and smaller. Mm -hmm. You see what I mean? Mm -hmm. And then uh, and then we're going to uh, do it in rough circles and that, that mulling motion is going to really, um, yeah, e even out the paint and make it a really fine, fine paste. So, uh, yeah, that's what's going on right now. We're going to carry on. Uh, so yeah, we've 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 mulled the paint, so it's got this nice consistency now, and um, yeah, we didn't have any empty tubes, so we're just reusing one of the old uh, uh, tubes. It, it doesn't really matter; it's clean, and uh, we're just going to put it inside the tube and then crimp the end, and then basically you've got your oil paint, which will last for ten years plus if you really wanted. Um, obviously, the advantages with doing this is you end up with a really high quality paint. Um, the pigment density is much higher, and if if um, you know that's what you like or if you don't want to spend 100 euro on a tube of paint then this is a much easier way of going about it and ending up with that high quality material so after mixing the ultramarine we mix some titanium white up that's a few shots here and i'm now just at home editing the blog yeah that's how i've that's how i've always mixed oil paint when i'm making it from scratch if you've got any questions or anything else that you want to know please just let me know in the comments and thanks for watching and see you again next week